in the fitness and training. Now, uh, the Sheikh Yusuf is one of the uh, good friend of ours. He, he used to engage in our program. He's a special guest for us today. And uh, as a short introduction, he's from India, and he memorized the whole Quran, which is our holy book, and he memorized in, in the original Arabic language, even though his native language is not Arabic. And uh, today he's going to discuss something about the benefits of fasting. Please. Good evening for everybody. Thank you very much for attending this presentation. And before starting this presentation, just I have a short time. Okay, how many of you know why Muslims are fasting? Does anybody know? Why what is the benefit? Why Muslims are fasting? Anybody knows? Maybe you, you have this uh, feeling, some of you might be thinking it is self-torturing <laughs> or something, right? Because to dawn to dusk, you, had, you, show, you should not drink, you should not eat, okay? But however, the fasting, when it was prescribed in Quran, <coughs> Allah SWT, the God Almighty, when He inscribed, He prescribed on the believers, He says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyyam kama kutiba alayhi ladhina min qablik min alayhi min tattakun Why you who believe? Fasting in Ramadan is prescribed on you, decreed on you as it was prescribed on the people before you What is the benefit? Here Allah says la alayhi ladhina tattakun So that you may become God conscious You see tattakun, this word tattakun it is not the exact meaning in English because it is very, very difficult to translate in any language, Muttaqi. However, we can translate God consciousness, righteousness, self-restraint, many, many meanings. But here we can say you may become self-restraint, you may become God conscious. However, to be God conscious, to be God conscious, Allah SWT, the God Almighty, gives attributes or characteristics that should be in a believer in Muslim. That may you can count tens of such attributes in Quran and in the Hadith. More than hundred. I counted more than hundred of attributes or characteristics that should pose a believer. Should he may be called as Muttaqi if he poses. You can say, you know, forbearance, patience, Love for the, you know, Rasulullah the Prophet Muhammad he said, La yabrudu abdul haqiqat al-imani hatta yuhibbal in-nasi ma yuhibbal zilasihi, gran khayn. None of you can attain true faith until you love for the people what you love for your own self. This one, one of the qualities of a muttaqin. And Allah says in Quran, Kalimina al-gayla wal-afina al-nas. Those are the ones who will enter paradise, the Muttaqi, they suppress their anger. They are angry, angry is one of the natural, you know, uh, but they suppress, they will not act upon the anger. Well, Afin Animas. They will forgive the mistakes of other people. And Allah says in another uh, part of the Quran, He says, they will feed the poor and needy and they will take care of the orphan. For what? They are not doing this just to earn praise from the people. This, do, this person is doing such and such. Oh, praise No, they don't want praise. We don't want any reward from you. No, no reward from government, nothing. I don't want thanks from you. They will think, they are feeling inside this. I never want any thanks or reward, anything. But we want to please our God Almighty. They will feed the poor, they will feed the needy, they will free the slaves, they will help people, they will take care of the orphans, but to please Allah Almighty, not to get reward or price from them. These are the qualities. You know, I can count the qualities on and on hundreds, tens of more than hundreds of qualities. A believer should post, he should become if he wants to become a mutaki, if he want to enter paradise. So these qualities. It is not possible for any Muslim, any man to try and achieve such beautiful qualities inside himself without going through certain process. So that is why Islam has implemented certain 
rituals, like salah. When, you, when we offer prayer, we feel in our prayer that God Almighty is watching. We feel His presence. But once a year, 30 days we fast, we learn self-restraint. Throughout our, this day, you know, for example, why I made this presentation, to make it very simple for you to understand, <coughs> you know the word is meant. The one who is making jewelry, okay? Somebody who is making jewelry, if he is, you know, when uh, you, you, somebody is coming from jungle, he does not know about jewelry. If somebody is making, you know, he is melting the uh, gold and he is hammering it, he is doing so many things. And when someone does not understand about the process and about jewelry, he will think, this man is crazy. This is how uh, people who does not understand about Islam and Muslim and their feeling, they think you are torturing your own self. How can you don't drink, don't eat from dawn to dusk? But however, to make such beautiful jewelry, a yeah, goldsmith, he should make certain process, he should melt it. He should melt, he should hammer the gold. He should do so many things. Then he will get the beautiful jewelry. So this is how, when we make, you know, when uh, we don't, we abstain from eating and drinking, actually our soul becomes soft. It is very easy to train our own self to attain beautiful qualities. Because the oil days, we are surrounded by, surrounded by an evil environment. It corrupts. The child, when it is born, actually it born, the, the child, every child is born on the natural state. It is pure. But the environment that corrupts, okay? The when we are corrupted, when Allah SWT, the God Almighty wants us to go back to the natural state, okay? So that is why we train ourselves, uh, learn uh, and the, the beautiful qualities we want to put inside our soul, how we can do it, we have to do such, you know, even the small children, say six, old, six year old or four, uh, five year old, six year old children, when they fast, my, like my daughter, when she is fasting, he, she cannot drink. She will not drink. Even if, if you put her alone in, in the home, she will not drink. She will not eat. Why? She has the God consciousness. Even my father is not watching, but Allah is watching. So their same consciousness, we are learning that to achieve, you know, Islam does not say, Islam never allows any of its followers to go to a jungle and worship inside the jungle or in mountain. We have to be in the community. We have to serve each other. While we are serving, everything will be calculated as worship. You serve others, it will be as worship. While you are suppressing your anger, you uh, uh, be patient, everything will be calculated as a worship. That is why, you know, just I want to give you an example. When we find animals, you know, humans are the one, one kind of animal. You know, we have such animal qualities. Okay, when train, people train the animals, like elephant or anything, when they uh, capture from the jungle, what they do, they put in bite. They don't feed for several hours or several, some days, then they start training. After the training, it serves the mankind. So, naturally, our, uh, the mankind, human beings, we have all these evil desires, evil qualities like jealousy, proud, selfishness, arrogance, not helping others, you know, so you can add, add on and on, greed, but time is very short, so I just uh, talk in short. We want to remove all these evil qualities, evil attributes from ourselves, and put new and beautiful qualities, like you know, when the jewelry become very old, we got to give one to the goldsmith, he will put, he will uh, melt it, he will hammer it, then he will make it a beautiful journey, just to give you example, how you can learn charity, helping others, forbearance, kindness, humbleness, not arrogance, humbleness, self-restraint, self-sacrifice, mercy, love. As I said, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you cannot attain a true faith until you love for the man, take what you love for yourself. So whatever you love for yourself, you have to love for others. You see, in 23 years, the, Muhammad, the Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he became uh, as a prophet, you know, before the, uh, his prophethood, Arabia, you cannot imagine, you know, Roman Empire and Persian Empire, they were fighting each other, okay, to grab lands, small piece of lands. 
But this Arabia, nobody ever interested in this land. Nobody fought for this land. It was left to rule on its own. Why? It does not have natural resources like Iraq or Syria. They had natural resources. Also, there is no human resource. Humans are like animals. But in this country, Allah said, Allah says in the Quran, لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمِينِ لِلْبَعْثِهِ وَرَسُولًا مِنْ أَنْفُسٍ يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمْ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَيُنْتَابُ مِنْ قَبْرُ لَمْ يَظَرَالِ الْمُبِينَ We have favored upon the believers by sending a great prophet who will fully purify them and teach them the wisdom. So Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, he taught the wisdom and he changed these people who were never eligible to be ruled by someone else, they became the rulers of the world. Okay? For example, one, of, one simple incident I mentioned, how great qualities these companies of the Prophet they attained because of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After he purified them. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used several tools, one of them Salah, sound, fasting, also one of the tools. After he used these tools, these very people, very ugly souls, what they had, they changed into beautiful souls. Okay, they were drunkards, but they were changed into beautiful souls, gems of the mankind. For example, one of the battlefield, someone you see, just can you imagine, you are dying. You ask, when you, you feel test and you are dying already on the deathbed, you ask for water. Someone brings water for you. And someone next to you also dying, and he asks for water. Can you ever imagine the person who is dying in the first one? He will say, he will tell the person who brought water, please go and give to my, the next person. It happened in, in the Islamic history, 10 people are dying. They are just on the deathbed, on the battlefield, injured and they are dying. The one person, the first person, he asked for water, prayed for water. A man brought water to the, the, the first man. When, as soon as he brought the water, the next person, he started asking water. So the person first, he said, please give it to my brother first. Then the, the person, he went to the next person, he said, Please give it to my another brother. He went to third brother, third man. Until they moved to the tent, then nobody yet, yet take the water. But he came back, all of them are dead. You see, they sacrificed, they preferred others more than themselves. This is how Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi he changed the people. So fasting, it changes the people. So the time is short, now, now we have to break fast. So uh, I finish this uh, lecture. If we have time in future, we will also answer the questions. Chinese Sheikh Yusuf, and if you have any question, you can ask during the, the, the food session. And now it's almost time for breaking the fast. And the Muslim women, they prefer to sit uh, in a separate session. They can go inside the room. Those who are sitting in the general, they can sit in the outside. Now, of course, you can move to the, that section. ありがとうございます。